His name is becoming a household word. The story of his alleged brutality is all over the internet. Is the Coney 2012 documentary the new face of pro-life activism? This is the Citizen Link Report. I'm Carrie Gordon Earl with Citizen Link bioethics analyst Don McBain. Hi, Don. Hi, Carrie. Good Thanks to be for, here. Thanks for being here. Uh, his name is Joseph Coney. He's an infamous African warlord, uh, alleged brutality. He is wanted for uh, possible uh, atrocities committed against children in Uganda. Uh, the documentary is called Coney 2012, and it is said to be the most viral video on the internet in history. What is the point of this video? What's going on here? You know, this video has had millions of views in just the first few days of posting. And Joseph Coney has alleged to take thousands of children with unspeakable torturings and maimings and pulled them into his Lord's Resistance Army. And now a group, Invisible Children, is uh, filming about this atrocity and they are a group that is alleged to have economic and educational concerns for the children of Uganda and is working to help stop uh, this Kony atrocities. There is a question over whether or not Kony is still in Uganda or whether he has moved on into neighboring countries. This is a video as we've said that has gotten tremendous traffic on the internet. Let's look at a little clip of it. And the fight has led me here to this movie you're watching because that promise is not just about Jacob or me. It's also about you. And this year, 2012, is the year that we can finally fulfill it. And if we succeed, we change the course of human history. But time is running out. To level with you, this movie expires on December 31st, 2012. And its only purpose is to stop the rebel group, the LRA, and their leader, Joseph Coney. And I'm about to tell you exactly how we're going to do it. Don, this video is particularly popular among the millennials, the younger generation, which is a group you not only belong to, but you track for us here at Citizen Link. Why do you think it resonates so much with them? What's going on there? You know, look at any 20-somethings Facebook page. I'm guilty of this. And we're uh, admittedly a pretty self-focused group of individuals. But I think when you see videos like this and the passion behind 20-somethings, really looking for ways to get involved and help support a pro-life endeavor, we're seeing a difference there, but a really encouraging development and that is that 20-somethings are a pro-life generation and whether it looks like maybe previous generations with abortion uh, clinic picketing or something like Facebook I think it's really important to see how whether it's from fertilization to natural death that's something we talk about with the sanctity of human life ethic that this is really a generation that cares about pro-life and everything in between that sandwiched in the middle the dignity of human life whether it's children or adults who are really suffering so that's an encouraging sign well, social networking, email, that's changed how all of us live, regardless of which age demographic you are in. And I guess what struck me about this video is it, it's really resonated with people. It has drawn up in them a desire to want to speak out. And, and that's across generations. I have the same posts on my Facebook page as well. What do you think this says to us? And what kind of a takeaway do we have from a viral communication like this? You know, the world's changing. Technology, social networking is really changing the way we communicate. And I think it's important to remember when videos like this come out, you know, there's been a lot of criticism along with some of the positive aspects of this video to really make sure we're checking our facts, to make sure that we're looking deep into these issues and seeing not only if the facts are right, but then also how we can get involved. It's not enough just to post something on our Facebook and think we've done something. We need to really make sure that we're getting out and whatever that looks like for us, really making sure that we are supporting a pro-life perspective in our actions in our day-to-day -day life. Absolutely. Well, it's an interesting moment in history to watch this video and see where it's going. Thank you for coming and bringing us up to date on that. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you, Don. And thanks to those of you who communicate with us, who reach out to us via email through the new technologies to tell us about your thoughts uh, to our, our webcast. You can always reach out to us at mail at citizenlink.com. That's mail at citizenlink.com. And we would ask you to continue to pray with us uh, for our nation, for our leaders, for our fellow citizens and really for folks around the world as we think about this issue of the respect for life for those made in God's image from life's beginning to life's end. And remember, stand tall and be heard. And if you'd like more information on millennial outreach and what that generation is thinking, please go to risingvoice.com.